ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa. So, we've had another community update video from Jeff Kaplan, who is the game director for Overwatch. He addressed a number of issues, things like all heroes will be free after launch. All maps will also be free. So when new maps come out, new heroes come out, they'll be free, which is great. However, he didn't address the issue of a competitive stopwatch. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell is that, Sty? I a stopwatch? What are you talking about? Well, let me explain, because it's pretty it's pretty integral to competitive play, especially on non-symmetrical maps. So what is a stopwatch mode? And why is this so important for competitive Overwatch? And why should you even care about this? You see, I must stress, this is more of a competitive inclined system. It's not really needed for public or casual play, although Dirty Bomb does have a casual uh, stopwatch mode, which is actually pretty good. And Blizzard should totally rip that off. But anyway, what is stopwatch mode? So in non-symmetrical game modes, so these are game modes where each team has a different objective, like payload, for example, each team is given the chance to both attack and defend. Whatever team gets the best attack time, so they capture the points or maybe push the payload to its objective faster, they gain a point, and so they win the attack round. Now, why is this important for competitive play and not really for public games? Well, in public games, you attack and then you defend and then the match is over. So the timings don't matter. You're not racing each other on attack. It's just if the attack is successful or is the defense successful and that's it. You see, you've only got one attempt. So, as I say, if you, you either you succeed on the attack or you don't, or you succeed on the defense or you don't. However, to make competitive games more balanced, each team must be able to both attack and defend on the same map and their performances have to be matched together to see who mounted the most successful attack or successful defense. Obviously, it's more attack inclined because both teams may attack the objective and win. So this means you can end up in situations where each team could win while on attack and so the game's a draw. However, Team A might have completed the attack maybe 20 seconds in advance of Team B. Therefore, because they were more effective, their play was more effective, they were the faster team, so therefore the better team on attack, they should get the point for that. Currently, Overwatch has no competitive stopwatch integrated into the game. I'm going to assume this is something that's firmly on Blizzard's radar. I mean, if it's not, it really needs to be, because they are, they're really pushing Overwatch as an eSport. And I guess rightfully so, it is, it is set up for that. There has been guys who have been running competitions in the closed beta. I almost said beta. I don't know what that is with me. I, I'm switching between beta and beta now. I mean, where I come from, we say beta, but whatever. <laughs> so there's been guys who've been running tournaments in, in the closed beta, and they've been forced to use external stopwatches to create a balanced system. But obviously, it would be nice if the game supported this, and it really does need to support this. But anyway, why the hell should you even care about all of this? You know, you're probably like me, yeah? You're never going to be a pro gamer. You just enjoy the game. You're never going to play at the highest level. You're never going to join an esports team. So why the hell should you even care? Like, I mean, does it... Honestly, does it bother me right now that it's not in the game? Well, not really, because I'm never really going to use it. But why should it bother me, and why should it bother you? Well, a thriving esports scene is in everybody's interest because it has so many positive effects on any game. So, not only will the games and meta rapidly, and I mean rapidly, develop. How many times have you seen plays in League of Legends or uh, you, you see a pro StarCraft 2 player with a build order that you want to copy? The only reason that exists is because those players have invented it because they're at the highest level of the game. So then that increases your enjoyment because you get to copy the pros or see another way of playing the game. It also gives the devs more information. Maybe they can fix things that are being abused or anything like that. And all of this is shaped by a high-end competitive scene. It also brings more eyes onto the game. So if you've got massive esports competitions going down and things like that, more people are going to watch the game, and that means more people will buy the game and more people will play the game, so you have more people to play with, which is in your interest because you want a populated game. You don't want to wait for games, do you? You want to get into them immediately. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a bit of a different video because it's more of a... Um, I don't know, I don't tend to do videos like this, but it's more of a... I wanted to highlight this stopwatch issue, and maybe it was kind of like an educational video, I guess. Um, just so you guys are aware of this, and if you do see this cropping up around, uh, the internet in places, 
this, like, hopefully I've, I've explained it in a manner where you can understand what it's about um, and why it's needed. And I do hope Blizzard bring it in, which I'm pretty sure they will. So ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylosa. This is Unit Lost. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. And uh, if you've got any comments to leave below, then please do. And uh, like the video if you liked it, because that helps a load. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo. Wonderful.